Hey, welcome back. Now, we know that water and electricity don't necessarily mix, but a growing green technology floats solar panels on the surface of lakes and seas. Recent study shows it could become a significant source of energy for the planet. Bradley Blackburn shows us where it's already making a difference. In Sayreville, New Jersey, a green future is hiding in plain sight. When it was installed in 2019, this photovoltaic solar array was the largest in the country, but many residents still have no clue it's here. It's a quiet, unobtrusive way for us to generate that power. The town didn't want to cut down trees for a solar field. Ultimately, this will be drinking water. But this municipal reservoir was wide open. They're not making any more land, so let's, let's apply it where we have the open space. The possibility arises of putting vast amounts of solar floating on calm tropical seas. Andrew Blakers studies floating solar. He says it saves land for crops or other purposes, and there are plenty of viable bodies of water to theoretically power the entire planet. The global capacity of floating solar panel systems is projected to jump sevenfold by 2030. It's already used in places like Thailand. Even the U.S. Army is installing it on bases. Solar really is the solution to climate change and will be far larger than everything else put together because its resource base is vastly larger than everything else put together. And another benefit in hot, dry climates, the coverage from these solar panels can reduce water evaporation from reservoirs. In Sayreville, officials say they've found their floating system safe for the water and good for the environment. It also saves money by powering the water treatment plant and they can sell extra energy to the grid. This gives us a lot of other benefits, but the one I'm most concerned with is keeping the burden off the taxpayer. An energy option floating to the top as the world searches for greener power. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, Sayreville, New Jersey.